as where I am now, pretty much. So this is me when I was about not even a year old. Um, we lived in Oklahoma. I was raised there. That's where I belong. This is me and my half-sister, Melissa. I don't get to see her much. Um, she was in the Air Force when I was just born, and she's been stationed in Greenland and all over, and she now lives in Florida. So this is probably my favorite picture of me and her ever. When I was younger, I grew up, we had animals constantly. We had cows, we had chickens, we had ducks, and we had lots of cats, and we used to raise Great Danes. We had a total of about 19 Great Danes at once because of all the puppies and stuff. And that's what I grew up with, and they are the funnest dogs in the world, so I love them so much. And my mom had always been in love with Alan Jackson. She always joked with my dad that she was going to leave my dad for him if she got the chance. And my biggest memories are, you know, riding in the van to go to the store just singing Alan Jackson songs with my mom. And then this is when I was younger is when I fell in love with mermaids. And this is my favorite picture of a mermaid. And I'm this summer, I'm actually getting it tattooed on my leg. That same one? That one, yes. She got booty there, you know. Yes. <laughs> okay. And then my middle school years when I moved here, um, my music style changed to now uh, my absolute favorite band is The Used. And it's not the best picture, but it's a elite singer. He's I just, everything about the years, they're my favorite. Their songs are what, how I can define how I feel. I have so much emotion for them. I started playing in band, and I switched my instrument to the bassoon. And not many people know what that is, and if they do, that they think it's ridiculous and stupid, but it's, I love it. It's about as tall as I am, and it's so much fun to play. In middle school, a time at Jasmine, um, we became friends first through track, and it was because we hated each other. We, it was competition. I couldn't stand her, and she didn't like me. And then we started to talk more and actually become friends. And so that was what we did all the time when we hung out was take pictures to put them on MySpace and Facebook. And in middle school is when I first started to do cheer. I had, first thing I ever did was become a bass, and that's what I have been my entire life, as a, you know, for cheer. And Kennedy has always been my little flyer. She is the world to me. I put my life under hers every day to make sure she does not get hurt. That's the old gym at the middle or the elementary. And in middle school, this is how I figured out the hard way. It's a saying, it's funny how dance, lifting weights, gymnastics, and so many other things are taken seriously, but when they're combined, people make fun of it. And I've learned that the hard way, that people say it is not anywhere near a sport, but I, every day I do it, and I get up at 5 a.m. just to do it, so. And then this is how I am now. Um, I said I am a bass. I have this saying, not exact words, but I have this on the back of my shirt. It is, it is everything to me. It says I am bass. I know you know who I am, though you may not always see me. I support the weight of many, but do you know how I do it? I took the trust of a flyer to put her life in my hands so that I may propel her skyward. I toss her, extend her, twist and pop her, and throw her. But more importantly, I catch her. They call me a bass. What do they call you? If you know me, that is all I do. I love Pinterest. That's why my presentation is on Pinterest. I have over 500 pins on one board. I don't have a life. <laughs> I have competitive cheer has 
changed my image for myself completely. I used to just do sweatpants and all that stuff all day, and now every Saturday I have a big curly hair piece and a big bow and lots of makeup. I said Kennedy is everything to me. And then there's Veronica. <laughs> oh, she. <God. laughs> She's see that. another one of my really good friends. And I was faced with the question this weekend, well, who is your best friend, Jasmine or Veronica? And I've, you know, been back and forth with that. I've known Veronica for so long, but I take care of Jasmine. She's just a little thing that I need to take care of. This is my favorite picture ever from this year. It is our team and our football team. And I know that our football team was not the greatest state champions ever, but we treated them like they were. Um, before every game, I would text them a good, you know, the numbers that I had, I text them a good luck. You know, I hope you do great text. And then afterwards, you know, heart fell. So I'm, you know, you guys have played your heart out, whatever it was. And it was before the Ithaca game, I texted the boys. Um, a long message, and all I pretty much said in that was, I don't care if we win. I, you know, I'm not looking for the win. All I want is for those the seniors to at least go out and give it their all and play like they've never played before. Um, but the football team does mean a lot to me. You know, this year they're probably the nicest ever to us, and our team, our cheer team, had our little fall in love with Doug. Because it was at the last game, all the players went through a good job. And he'd been out for a couple games, but when he went through, we were the loudest for Doug. We have our reasons. <laughs> and then, this is probably one of the best pictures I've ever seen of me and Jasmine. Because uh, she's, what she went through this year, saying that she wanted to leave, not, you know, be at Shepherd. I did not want Jasmine to go anywhere. Because you know she's with me for classes, she's with me all the time, and it's one of my best friends right there. I don't want to see her go anywhere. So so far, this is where I've ended up. Well done. Well done. Well done.